everyone so today what I'm going to do is talk through how to produce an old age fantasy character more likely for use in a theatrical production um, and we're going to learn and develop the techniques that are needed to create our bold highlight and shade to add depth and definition to um, a character feature so obviously I've had to make prosthetic pieces for you all. I've made a mixture of latex and gelatin ones um, and gone for that just because we haven't obviously been in or done anything. So first thing first, I'd prep my skin, okay? I do apologise, I've got bad skin again. I've got a bit sunburned, naughty, naughty. So I'm going to age quite badly. Um, <laughs> uh, so first of all, um, cleanse your face, get it all um, completely clean, tone it. And I'd probably, for this one, skip a moisturiser, unless areas are particularly dry and troublesome. Then the next step I'm going to do, I'm going to let my skin settle for a little bit. And then, just a little tip to sort of help the adhesive work just a little bit quicker. Okay, where I'm going to put my prosthetic piece, I'm going to apply loose, colourless powder. Okay being careful obviously around the nostrils for powder okay so always start from um, the pivot point that you're going to work from so mine's going to be the bridge of my nose then I'm going to work around the top of the nostrils and with my excess just quickly sweep underneath okay so the adhesive is really strong we're going to use a, a, an adhesive called Prosade okay so it's a latex um, mixed um, glue so it's latex based um, and it's really good for most prosthetics as well so I'm going to use that to stick our prosthetic piece on but oil is always quite bad um, <laughs> quite bad if you've um, got to stick a prosthetic piece on so the powder just acts as a barrier and to sort of help the adhesive work better okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit of my adhesive okay and I'm going to apply with a cotton bud all the way around the edges of my piece okay so this is my uh, nose okay um, I'm gonna have to be really clever okay you guys are gonna have access to witch hazel so I'll do the motions as if I was doing the um, witch hazel um, blending of the edges but um, it's obviously not gonna work because I haven't actually got any um, so I'm going to work this through and I'm working all the way over so I'm even going to bring it down the bridge of the nose okay so I've gone all the way around the edge and then I'm now going to start painting actually inside this very top part of the nose okay so I get that all on there first good right to the edges okay right in there okay so I hope you can see that and I'm going to leave that just to go dry so it should go clear so this glue needs to be tacky um, I like to have it on before that just begins to sort of start going tacky just so I can get it positioned um, but what I also like to do is add a pivot point and I like to put a bit of glue particularly down the um, edge of my nose and onto the bridge okay so I'm going to put that on like this okay um, and then I'm going to get my piece and what you want to do is think of a pivot point okay so you want to get it positioned first of all okay so I'm quite happy with it I think I probably need to put that on a bit higher okay and it won't stick down completely until it has gone really tacky okay so I'm just going to apply that on so what you would need to do once you finish this okay once this is all stuck on I like to go over it just a little bit more let me just check my nostrils are stuck now obviously the problem we've got <laughs> these noses um, were moulded onto one face cast okay so it is someone else's nose shape inside um, so it might not be an exact fit okay but it will give us an idea what you'd normally do is cast on whoever the actor's face is um you do a face cast and then you'd cast um, and um, make your mold and your prosthetic piece with clay and then you'd mold that again um, and you'd get a piece so that's my 
lovely nose. So here, I haven't got enough glue on. Um, and this bit is the bit I would normally dissolve. So I would make sure this bit, I've got a bit of glue, whoopsie. Okay, and I'm just gonna hold that in place. And it's gonna take a little while to dry that one. So I'll just keep talking while I'm waiting. Okay, I'm just gonna just keep pressing. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to dry a little bit more, what I would do next is I would get some witch hazel in a bowl and then I would use the edges. I'm probably going to use a bit of glue actually. I'm going to blend. So I'll use the glue just to go around the edges instead. Okay, and I would just keep working the witch hazel in and just keep rolling it until wherever you can see this glue okay this will dry clear i'll just put a bit of a uh, powder on there to stop that being tacky okay and you just work that witch hazel in all around those edges okay and that just dissolve and then you can always go back over with a bit of glue if you need be Okay, so you can just see, and what we'll do, that will kind of melt it into the skin, make it look like the skin is coming out, so that's quite good. Okay, but I'm going to use the actual glue just to try and pad mine out a little bit. Okay, so that's my piece, so I'm going to leave that to dry just a little bit longer. Okay, I'm probably going to pat some of that away. Just leave that to dry. Okay, so <laughs> there we have it. A lovely witch nose. It actually quite suits me, which is a bit scary. Not a not a good thing. So what I'm gonna do now, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna kind of start thinking about my old age techniques, okay? So I'm now gonna start going over this. Um first of all, I need a clean brush. No, that one, that's my shader one, this one will be perfect, so I'm first of all going to go in, now you can use a cream based sort of foundation, so I like to use these um, TV paint sticks, okay, so what I would do is, because it's theatrical, you want to make the skin tone maybe one, two shades more golden and darker, deeper than your natural skin tone, okay? Mainly because of the, the um, intensity of the lighting, okay? So we always go a little bit deeper and a little bit more golden toned, okay? Um, I'm probably just gonna use my fingers and I'm gonna apply a little bit of TV paint stick. not golden enough for me. I think I need a darker one. That's a bit better, it's a bit darker. Okay, obviously I haven't got shade sunburn so <laughs> it's gonna look a little bit pale on me but uh, my skin is actually, I've got to make sure it's maybe a shade darker than my actual skin tone without the sunburn. Okay, So I'm just going to apply this let's uh, get rid of this horrible sunburn on my forehead which is really naughty of me okay but I'll probably just do half the face I'm going to go over my lips. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of the powder that I had, the loose powder. I'm just going to work that over where I've applied that glue. Okay, so it just takes out the tackiness. So. 
Um, I'm just going to quickly just put a little bit more of this on. So now I'm now going to work this skin tone over this nose. I mean, you may find it easier. Um, it's entirely up to you if you want to paint the prosthetic piece before you actually. So if you know what the base tone is going to be, you could pop a little bit on the main part. Particularly if it's not the best fit. So, okay, it's just that little bit there. I just probably. So if you've got quite a thick edge like this top one here, you could use a little bit of Artex just to sort of blend the edges and sort of make that go into the skin a little bit more. And so that's one thing you could do. I don't know what I'm looking at now. I've got a mirror right in front of me. I can't actually see what I'm doing on that. So let me just have a little go over this. So I've got my skin tone on now and I've evened out all the skin and made it kind of look a bit, a little bit flawless, okay? So I've tried to do that. So now what I'm gonna go in to do is my highlight. So I need to think about, I need a reference picture of old skin, okay? And I am going to produce an old age makeup for um, someone who is very old. I'm an old witch, but I'm a, I'm a friendly witch. No, I'm not, I'm gonna be an evil witch. Then I can change my eyebrows and make them look evil. Okay, so I need to think about where my eyes and my facial features need to sort of pop out. So think about um, when you look at pictures. So when you look at an old age picture, you're gonna look where the depth is, okay? So where there may be Sort of really deep wrinkles, folds, um, particularly around the eye area, the bags of the eyes, the